jealous because you know that my secret lover will be slipping another note under the door. <laughs> what kind of lover sneaks around putting notes under doors? If he was a real man, he'd come up here and face you. Ah, oh, just because he bashful on me, he ain't a real man. I bet he's tall. I bet he's handsome. But sure he's got bad eyes. Otherwise, he'd be writing those notes to me. Well, they ain't for you. They was addressed to me. And tonight, you are going to help me catch the Mohammed of my Ali. <laughs> Mohammed, huh? He's probably one of those preverts, a peeping time. Of course, I feel sorry for the poor devil, because with your body, he ain't got nothing to peep at. <laughs> What you talking about, girl? I got a body. That ain't no body. Replace that head of yours with an eraser and you got a pencil. <laughs> Do you know what your problem is, Luffy? You got a 34-inch chest and an IQ to match. <laughs> Listen, I think these little letters is so romantic. Listen, dearest Maureen, you is out of sight and quite a trip. You is my Gladys Knight, and I'm your pip. Love, Oliver. <laughs> if that's the best that turkey can do, all I can say is, pee you! <laughs> and you just jealous because they ain't for you. Oh, I am not no, jealous. I am not. <laughs> I think I hear my O.J. Simpson now. O.J.? You mean DJ, dumb jerk. <laughs> Look, when that note comes under the door, you snatch it open and I'll grab now. Come on, don't give me no lip. age is 11. <laughs> Tell you what, why don't you split and then come back when you're three feet taller? He is right. When you fall in love with a beautiful woman, you is going to be miserable your whole life. Uh, uh, Oliver, you better get home. It's probably time for your nap. Excuse me, honey. Wimpy, this is a 10-year-old kid we dealing with, not some dude from the Cleopatra Club. What do you know about handling things like this? You a Debbie dropout. I'll take care of this. Come over here, Alba. I want to have a talk with you. Isn't she wonderful? And she's got a wiggle that won't quit. <laughs> um, I hate to break your bubble, but you should know Maureen just ain't perfect. Accept Marie for what she is. I know when you love someone, you got to take the good with the bad. Well, you getting a lot more bad than good. <laughs> She'll run around with other men. I don't care, just as long as she comes home to me. <laughs> she can't even cook. The only thing I eat is peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> she drinks and smokes. She can stop. I did. <laughs> Drink 
drink? This club stuff sure makes me thirsty. <laughs> but of course. <laughs> you know, I don't know whether to get him a Dr. Pepper or a dry martini. You know, maybe we can get him to join a singles club. I'll take another crack at it. No, no, let me try it this time. thinking. Are you sure you want to marry me? Marriage is nothing. I just don't believe in living together. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what I want. I want new jewelry, new clothes, and lots and lots of furs. I got 50 cents. We just spend and spend until it goes. <laughs> and when it goes, you go. Go out and get a job. Two if you have to, and that's just the beginning. I want you to clean behind your ears, keep them shoelaces tied, what? and clean them fingernails. Hey, you don't need to be mad like this. <laughs> what well, now, just what do you think marriage is? How does your mama talk to your daddy? <laughs> I've been thinking about her engagement. Yeah? Maureen, what I'm going to say may hurt you now, but years to come, you'll thank me. What's that? Our engagement is off. <laughs> Maureen, you sure fooled him. Who was fooling? If he'd come up with that jewelry and them furs and clothes, I would have married him. 